Hey, this is Pat Jansen from the Progressive International Motorcycle Show here in Chicago. Having a great time. Place is packed. It's 20 degrees outside, but it's hot in here. It's packed full of people. Got great bikes in the JMP Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show. One of them is this guy right here from Analog Motorcycles. Hey, Tony, tell us what you got here uh, for us at the show. Uh, right here we got a 1949 Indian Scout that I built uh, last year. Took about a year and a half to build. Um, basically all I did was use the engine, everything else is custom made. It's got a uh, Frame Crafters Trackmaster style frame that we made. And then all the tank, seat, fender, and fairing are all handmade aluminum. Uh, all the silver on there is just brush finished aluminum, no bondo. It's got TZ750 hubs. Some pretty trick oil fill or uh, oil tank that's all got a bunch of internal plumbing, 12 volt conversion, bumped up to 500 cc. A lot of a lot of time and love winning that thing. Sounds like it. Uh, and uh, your shop again is Analog Motorcycles. You do design and fabrication. Uh, beautiful, beautiful metalwork, man. That, you are you are truly a, a craftsman in the in the in the furthest sense of that word. Now, uh, when you were uh, putting this bike together. How does that process work for you? I know that um, we have some guys that uh, uh, Tommy Moore at Moore Customs in Kansas City says he puts a big piece of butcher paper up and draws the thing out to scale. How do you go about when you're getting ready to design something like this? How do you go about getting that done? On this one, I actually pretty much every build, I'm typically, it's all in my head. And I kind of start foaming it out of, or forming it out of whatever materials. I've done wooden bucks, I've done foam bucks. The seat and tank were actually made out of styrofoam, so it was a bunch of styrofoam glued together and then cut down, sanded. Uh, the fairing was made out of eighth inch welding rod, so I just curved it to the way that I wanted it, welded it all together, tacked it all so I could get the, the general shape of what I was after. And then on this particular one, I actually had pavlotic metal shaping, did all the hand forming. Um, I've been getting a little bit better, but they're really good. So I wanted this one to be top notch, so they took care of that for me. Well, yeah, it looks it's certainly a top notch would describe this bike. What exhaust are you running on this? Uh, that was a handmade exhaust system. I, I get all my parts from Cone Engineering. Those are the stubby cone mufflers on the end. It's got an X pipe and three inch baffles at the end, so it sounds sounds pretty gnarly. Is uh, the whole whole build was kind of designed to be a '70s era, '60s era race bike and. Uh, so we kind of wanted to be nasty and gnarly. I think you nailed it, man. I think you nailed it because uh, it is certainly a sick bike. Now, who does your paint for you? Uh, all my paint's done by Kyle at Crown Auto Body, and then all the gold leaf and pinstriping is done by a local hero here named Brando. Brando, all right. I love the way you've incorporated that uh, that paint and uh, gold leaf on the wheels too themselves. That is that is really tight. Now this front uh, hub that you're running on here. Um, what treatment have you given that that wasn't stock to it? So the stock hubs come basically all aluminum and they're all brushed aluminum. So we polished up the main portion of the hubs. Then I took the shields off, put some speed holes in them and put a bunch of brass detail behind them. So for venting and everything, that's a 4LS leading shoe hub. And that actually has four shoes in it, two on each side. So there's two brake plates. They're the they were the TZ750 MotoGP hubs they used back in the 70s, and they were very big and stopped you very quickly. Well, that's good. You know, uh, that's the trick. A lot of people, anybody can make them go fast. Getting them to stop is, is just as important, though. Now, your uh, rear pegs on here, uh, is that something that you manufactured, or is that something that you uh, sourced from a supplier? That was another company that makes vintage race stuff and that's a Tarazi rear sets so those are Tarazi rear sets and we put a folding lever on because the way that the kicker works on the left side I got to fold up the peg in order to kick the thing so <laughs> needed some folding pegs nice now how long has this bike been finished uh, we finished this up in like July of 14 okay so you've been able to ride it some I have been able to ride it for some we have a video we have a YouTube channel at analogmotorcycles.com you can check that out and there's a video of me riding the thing Right. Well, man, I, I tell you what, this thing is, is off the chain. Do check out his website, analogmotorcycles.com. Uh, Got to believe there's a lot more where this came from. I can't wait to see what you bring next year. Uh, thanks for being at the Progressive International Motorcycle Show. Really thank you for, for bringing this beautiful work of art, uh, putting in the JMP Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show. Uh, it makes the show super special, and it is certainly unique. Uh, there's nothing else here like it. Hey, guys, this video is going to be up on social media, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you watching this one, and go check out the other ones that we've got up. This is Pat Jansen from Progressive International Motorcycle Show right here in Chicago.